हेलो फ्रेंड्स स्वागत है आपका हिंदी न्यूज चैनल पे फॉगट सेवन पे कमीशन अलाउंस डिसीजन ऑन एयर इंडिया सेल्स इन द रियल गुड न्यूज हेयर्स वाई It is nothing short of monsoon bonanza for about 47 lakhs government employees from the Narendra Modi government that will put more money in the pockets of people. Hopefully, giving a boost to consumption, driving growth. This is a much need at a time when work, other key economies growth engines and are uh, slowing. The total allowance of payout going by the accumulations of the seven pay commissions, house rent allowance, HR rates, and other allowance for the central government employees will be just over thirty thousand crore effective from first July. But the bad part that is the pool also turn out be in financially and giving a head 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 headache to influential fighters at Mini Road. But the biggest good news is the second decision. around by union finance ministry arun jetli the cabinet note for division of loss making air india this is a much awaiting good news properly the first convention move from the modi government the fully wise it is a old promise that government has no business to be in business it is not a clear what will be to know it of divestment in the national air carrier this according of jetli will be decided by a group of ministry ideal it is a high time to government exit a majority control in a, the carriers and hand over the airlines to private hands which has a account let loss of more than 50 crore black by slowing it's a willingness to exit its control in the carriers <coughs> which has been burdened on the state of exigior for long the modi government has sent out a clear positive signal to the world that it has uh, finally come out for the fear of embarrassing previous things previous previous decisions something that has been pointed out by rating agencies something that has pointed out by rating agencies for a long as big MPD meant for lifting economy to a high growth path. But in sense of letting the majority control go, if the government settles for small stake sale, the whole experience will turn out to be disappointment. But this is unlikely to happen since reports suggest that the Department of Investment, Investment and Public Assets Management has given option of 100% to 74% and 51% stock stock sale in the airline, which means there will be a clear change of ownership. Here again, selling Air India wouldn't be an easy ex- ex- exercise. The airlines is neck deep in the debate over Rs. fifty thousand crore accumulated debate, and it is surviving on Rs. thirty thousand crore bill out package. The national carriers is a maharaja only on paper. On most key performance parameters, the airlines has been disappointment compared with the its private sector <coughs> counterparts. As a recent analysis shows, Air India re- revenue growth has. largely been a single digit over the 60 year over the last 6 year only did the company post a double digit growth 21.2% in a total on 13 14 it is a debate figure 5.5 times of jet air jet airways the debate of rs 7000 crore and 60 times that of india goes rs 3000 crore to there have been before afford uh, to cut some it is a cost by reduction of employees from the 36000 to down 11 to 2012 12000 into down 15 to down 16 to make air india in a attractive buy and get a good valuation even from a practical stock sale the government will have to first work out details plan to sell its non crore assets a reduced debate much as possible there is a isn't a case for distress sale the airlines has been assets which is sold judicially can help pair much of the 
debate and help the government to bargain better all this depend on working out argues per sale strategy well before the carrier is put on the block <laughs> sarkari banks next once the airline stock health <coughs> the government can or rather it should move on the cut majority holding in the other psu as well higher as the street runs bank must dominate the priority list there is no reason why, why the government needs to continue controlling these banks why would the government control 22 banks in the country with the over 70% stock in the 12 over 12 over 60% in 6 and above 50% in 3 the government control in these banks has been evidently failed insolations and they have not growing in efficient professional manner since the bank nationalization in the 1969 during indira gandhi's time <coughs> as of end march there are currently 40 state run banks who have g and ps about 10% the top and npa cases in the chart are india over sees bank which has 22.29% gnpa idbi bank is 21% central bank and uco bank both with about 70% gnpa right now the bad loans scenario in the banking sector can be termed nothing short of crisis situation with at least 10% of total loans giving by banks in the stress category this is a, however only a conversation estimate that is a taken into account once the current round of bad loan clean up is over this bank will require large amount of capital to fill the f- fund gap since the fundamental reason that lead to bad loan but will up do not change after the while nps while yet again start filling up physically con- constrained government may not be position to keep funding this bank it's a even more critical now for the modi government giving a serious thought to give up control of the public sector banks and let market com- competitions decide to winners and losers as the writer has agreed in the past as well the only per- per- permanent solutions to slave this skinny banking sector lies in offering the much needed operational automation uh, to the state trans bank by privileging them and also infusing them with private capital available this has been reminded of promise so far but the air india news giving some hope by giving is not on air india is stock said modi finally walking his talk on private stations it is a great news for economy provided the government following up this strong action before they enter its last year thank you for watching this video to subscribe our indian channel for latest news